This may seem a little crazy, but have you ever wanted to stream from your computer to your Instagram account? Perhaps you want to stream a live event with broader production infrastructure, or want to share a hobby with the rest of your followers. Or, for whatever reason, Twitch TV, Facebook Live, and other streaming platforms don't match your digital personality. With Instagram Live PHP, it can hook into the Instagram API and generate a stream URL and stream key which can then be used inside of streaming software like OBS or Wirecast. Alright, let's get this Instagram show on the road. First, we download Examp. This is a cross-platform solution for running Apache, MySQL, and PHP in parallel. FYI, this tutorial should work all across platforms with the exception of macOS and Linux, which currently doesn't support liking and commenting. Back on track, we want to download and install Composer as it will allow for PHP to bridge the communication with the operating system of choice. With Examp and Composer installed, you are ready to download and configure Instagram Live PHP script software. Put the file somewhere you won't lose it, such as desktop. You are now ready to do the initial setup of Instagram Live PHP. First, you want to change directory to the folder you download update PHP to. This is the script you first want to run to make sure you have all appropriate dependencies. This will probably take about 1-2 to two minutes. Next, we add in our credentials to the software. This involves simply typing your user account and password in plain text of a config file. This may sound insecure, however, if you use two-step authentication, you should be fine. If you're really paranoid, consider storing the software in an encrypted file container, such as BitLocker, when it isn't active. We are now ready to go live once we have saved the changes to the config file. To initiate the live streaming, type php go live.php. Normally, it would prompt you for your two-step authentication code, but for the sake of this tutorial, I have already done this. You can choose to automate the OBS Start Streaming functionality, but normally I handle this manually. It will give you your stream URL and your temporary randomly generated stream key, which you will copy over to your streaming software. Your screen should look similar with your own inputted stream key. Time to go live. It will bring up a central management console that you can interact within to your viewers. Now I'll admit that I'm not the next Tiesto, but for a quick live stream of a mock DJ set, it looks pretty cool to me. It only makes me think more of the other implications similar technologies can bring to targeting your audience even closer. Well, that about wraps up another segment of Sysman Geek Squad. Thank you for tuning in and geek out.